So uh, Bjork and her longtime collaborator, uh, Sion, they're forces of nature. How did you crazy kids all get together to make this movie? Well, uh, Robin Carolyn, who's <clears throat> one of the co-composers along with Seb Gainsborough, Robin's worked with Bjork and he's one of my close friends and he uh, introduced me to Bjork and then, and Bjork introduced me to Shion uh, and uh, <clears throat> you know, the rest is history. Um, yeah. <laughs> she yeah. has a small role, but she really knocked it out of the park. Well, you know, Bjork is the sort of pop culture uh, she shaman, um, you know, of the world. So um, she kind of just needs to come in and put on the costume and she becomes a serious, that's for sure. Well, you know, you were vital in proving that Robert Pattinson could be a serious actor with The Lighthouse. What are you hoping audiences discover about Alexander Skarsgård through this movie? I mean, Alex has put in some really great performances over the years, Diary of a Teenage Girl. I think he's like really incredible, but you know, that kind of goofy, sweet kind of nerdy guy is, that's Alex, you know? <laughs> I mean, not that character, but kind of that aspect of him is more his personality. And here, I mean, he transforms himself into a, a beast. You know, Alex has been obsessed with Vikings since he was a kid and he wanted nothing less than perfection uh, in his performance and he delivers it. I mean, I, th I think, you know, you know, he also uh, has, uh, a kind of sensitivity um, and melancholy. And so when he channels this like absolute rage, like this, this screaming fury that you can't believe, you can also see the pain there, which makes it particularly effective. So everybody wants to do a long take these days. You gotta have your long take and you have an incredible one in this movie. Uh, what made you wanna take on that uh, mountain, you know, to, to, to get that shot and how, how was it doing it? Well, I mean, we have more than one. <laughs> I mean, most of the film is long takes, but yeah, the but there's um, one incredible the, the, battle one that reminds yes, me the, of the, like... the the raid of the of the Slavic village is particularly uh, harrowing and and took a, a tremendous amount of planning and it, yeah, it's the one with the most uh, with with the most extras and the most stuntmen and horses and cows, chickens, pigs, geese, children, <laughs> mud arrows uh yeah i mean it was it was very complicated but um but you know i wanted to i wanted to immerse the audience in this sequence and and have them like to follow every single beat of uh of what was going down and have it be sort of merciless you know in a way that oh, yeah. that you achieved that okay <laughs> how many takes how many takes alex will remember but it was a lot it took four days to to shoot the sequence Oh, really? It was worth it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we all know about Vikings. Uh, you know, I, I'm we? growing up. Well, grow, well, that's the thing. Growing up, I, of course, watched the Kirk Douglas, you know, Tony Curtis movie, which is very different than your movie. Uh, so how historically accurate is this? Is this what it was really like to be a Viking? I mean, this happened a thousand years ago, uh, so oh, we well, can't yeah. really know. But this is <laughs> the this is the most I mean, I can say it's I, I pretty confidently that it's a fact that this is the most historically accurate Viking film ever made. Um, working with the finest uh, historians and archeologists in the field uh, to help me and my collaborators make this thing uh, accurate. And, and the cool thing is, uh, you know, there is, there hasn't, people haven't really done this. Since Wagner put horns on helmets in, in, in his operas, pop culture has been reinventing Viking Things to be whatever they want to be, you know, and uh, which, and by the way, thank you, History Channel Viking TV show for like re-energizing like everyone's interest in Vikings. But, but again, like that is their own interpretation. Um, certainly with how they dress, you know, that is not, that is not based on facts. So there was an opening to do something, you know. That well, no you, you took, you took advantage of the opportunity because this is incredible. It was really mind blowing. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks.